What's up, people? Demetrius Gordon here, founder of MCA Network Academy. Guys, right here, this is part two on setting up your Aweber so you can um, integrate it with your uh, capture page to make sure that your uh, emails are going out to your list and to make sure that you are getting credited for your sales, all right, so that when people are getting the emails um, in the list or whatever, uh, you will get credit for those um, sales or whatever when they click the links in the email and they may decide to buy and decide decide to make a decision on whether they want to uh, get in the MCA Network Academy or not. Okay, guys, one thing about the MCA Network Academy, all automation, all upsells, all this stuff right here is done for you, okay? There can be uh, numerous of possibilities um, when joining the MCA Network Academy. And those of you watching this video who decided to make a decision and take action, uh, yes, you do have the opportunity right now to really automate uh, a sales funnel that will convert highly if you blog daily, uh, which is one of the daily core commitments. And guys, don't be afraid to really listen to audio. Audio will help you with blogging um, as well. I just wanted to kind of get that out there before you even apply the information that I'm about to show you right here um, in this second video on how to set up your uh, AWeb uh, emailing list campaign. So. What you want to do, guys, you want to go to Messages, you want to go to Follow-Up Series. You want to go to Follow-Up Series, and make sure you are on your list name, okay? This little drop-down tab right here, okay? And then what you're going to do right here, you're going to go to Campaign Sharing at the bottom, okay? And there's going to be a campaign code in a group, and you turn Campaign Code to Follow-Ups Only. And then there's going to be a campaign code in a group. What you got to do... You gotta copy and paste that campaign code that I have in the group. All you gotta do is hit the files tab and you just copy and paste it and load it. You just load it, okay? You just load it. Alright? And all you gotta do once you get that campaign code in the group, let me show you. All right, let me show you um, what the campaign code look like. All right, so here it is, right here. Let me click on the group. All right. So what you'll do, guys, you'll go inside of the group and you'll press files. All right, here at the time. Please make sure you're on the computer if you're watching this video. Right now. Please get off your phone and watch this on the computer right now. I'm telling you, encouraging you, just you know, take 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 a um minute away and just get on the computer and really apply the information. Okay, don't be lazy and try to watch this on your phone. Please take this business serious and you will get paid seriously. Okay. Income disclaimer, uh, my results are not typical. Okay, I'm just letting you know that. So, what you'll do is you'll go to um, Aweber Setup Part 2, and there'll be a file, and it's going to tell you the campaign code that you need to finish the uh, sales process, okay? And here it is right here. Here's the campaign code that you need to finish the sales process, all right? And that is it. But, as you see, there will be a link change um, as I make this video because those are not um, the links you will be using. Um, the, there will be new links um, as I speak on. There will be no more Demetrius Gordon link. There will be MC Network Academy link from now on. It's time that you guys really not only brand my success, but brand the whole team is what I've been trying to tell you guys to do this whole entire time. So you really, you guys really need to go ahead and get ready for some real, real, real ridiculous um, progress here in the next 90 days. Okay, but you got to stay consistent and apply those daily core commitments and take consistent action on everything up until this point. So all you got to do to guys is get this campaign code and then you go here and then you go to follow ups as I told you before. Okay, I'm just redoing this. And you, what you'll do is you'll scroll all the way down and then it's going to ask you for campaign sharing with a question mark. Okay, the only reason I did it is because I already done it. But it's also going to come up with an option like this. What you'll do is you'll turn it to follow ups only. And then you'll copy and paste that campaign code, and you just load it, and then get done. Okay, and it's that simple, and you officially have all my follow-up messages. Okay, but you're not done. Now what you got to do is you got to go inside the messages and change the links. Okay, you just got to go inside the message and change the links. Okay, 
I will have a full PDF on um how to uh, do this. Okay, I will have a full PDF on um how to do this. I will be dissecting this video and really getting depth on how to change these links. It's not hard at all, people. All you're gonna be doing um in the emails, all you're gonna be doing is just changing the uh the username at the end of each link. Like it's gonna say question mark user equals to Demetrius, but you need to put your MSA username. So you're gonna do that on each and every email on each and every link. And how you know what the link look like, how you know what the link looks like, you're gonna click on the link just like this inside Aweber. And then boom, it's gonna have a link like that. But these are not the emails. I'm just giving you an example. You will have the campaign code to get the correct email that you'll be changing the link to. The link is gonna have this kind of extension at the end. Let me show you. They're gonna have question mark user equals, and then you're gonna have your MSA username. Like you'll have this at first. What you need to do, you need to backspace, erase it, and put yours. Your you need to put yours right there, and you're done. You do that on each link in each and every one of the emails, and you're good to go. That's all you have to do. Okay, this is not hard. And then you're done. You're done setting up that whole entire funnel with the autoresponder, so you can wake up to commission with the more leads you get through blogging. So I want you guys to go ahead and stop this video and go down and watch my next video on how to set up your uh, blog banners on your Empower Network blog. Okay. So, you know, stay tuned for that and continue on and really take action on everything I just told you. Founder MC Network Academy. I'm signing off. Peace.